Over the last few years, as Darren and I have traveled around the country talking to farmers, one of the biggest comments, or the most common comments we get from farmers is simply, my corn yields keep going way, way up every year, but I'm really struggling with my soybean yields. Why? What can I do to get better? Well, you know what, Brian? You aren't gonna get better at something if you don't work at it and you don't focus on it. And I'm not trying to criticize anybody, but when I look at our own operation, man, we focus on corn. We wanna get 300 bushel corn and how quickly can we do that on our farm? And we're putting all this energy into corn and soybeans are like the second crop. Yeah, but and it, so it, many guys I talk to, it's the same thing. Well, man, I'm doing this on my corn and doing this on my, my corn. And I, I say, well, what are you changing on your soybean plant? Well, uh, yeah, I don't but, know. Yeah, but it's a lot more fun to talk about corn when, oh, I can get 200 bushels and we get 250 oh, and it's 10 bushels. Feet tall. That's I understand. right. Yeah, I understand. It's awesome. And so it's just one of those things, King Corn. I mean, that, that nickname's been around for years and years because farmers have focused on this. And yeah, soybeans kind of is a secondary crop for a lot of farmers, but here's the way I look at it. If I've got a good soybean price and I can raise 60 plus bushel soybeans consistently, which we're now doing on our farm, well, that makes pretty good money too, you know? Well, there's another thing that I really like about soybeans, and here's the thing that should give you the most hope of anything, because it, it certainly does for me. When I look at a soybean crop, you can never give up on soybeans. I mean, there are guys in the, the Mid-South this year uh, with this past crop that they gave up on their soybeans. They thought they were dead. All of a sudden, they got some rain. They started putting on some pods again, and guys said, wow, I'm excited about my beans again. And the same thing uh, in our part of the world, in the upper Midwest this year, you know, guys thought the soybeans looked pretty good early. Well, then the drought really hit in full effect. And guys thought, oh, I'm not going to spend any more money out there because I'm not going to have a shot. Well, if you guys were lucky enough, like we were on our farm, to catch a little rain in August, and all of a sudden we had fantastic soybean yields. And, you know, it's the crop that you just don't give up on. Like corn, if well, you have trouble early, you're pretty much yeah, going to have a bad it, year. It's whole different. And it comes back to, it, first of all, if you're going to raise a good soybean crop, you need to understand it's very different from corn. Soybeans need a lot of their nutrients late in the season. They need rain late in the season, whereas corn needs everything early in the season. That's whole different. Also, with soybeans, they like lots of sunlight. They like sunlight. They like heat, especially about mid-season. So this year when everybody was crying because of drought, I just said, you know, in a lot of cases, all we have to do is get some late rains, and we can still have pretty good soybeans, which we did. So, yeah, exactly. I agree with your point 100%. You just don't want to give up on beans. Well, as you can see, Brandon and I are pretty passionate about raising better soybeans. We've got a lot to tell you, so let's take a break, and we'll be right back. 